Have you ever wondered how the universe could end? It's a question that has captivated philosophers and scientists for centuries. Will it be a bang, a whimper, or something even more bizarre? In this video, we'll explore three mind-blowing ways the universe could meet its ultimate demise. We'll delve into the depths of space and time to understand these cosmic apocalypses, from the fabric of space-time ripping apart to the universe collapsing back in on itself. Fasten your seatbelts, space explorers, as we embark on a journey to the end of everything. Imagine a force so powerful, so relentless, that it could tear apart the very fabric of existence. A force that doesn't just nudge or push but rips and shreds the very essence of what we know. That force, my friends, is the driving power behind the Big Rip. It's a concept that challenges our understanding of the universe. We know the universe is expanding, right? It's a well-established fact that galaxies are moving away from each other. Well, the Big Rip theory suggests that this expansion isn't just continuing, it's accelerating. Faster and faster, the universe is stretching out. And if it keeps accelerating, eventually, the force pushing everything apart will become unstoppable. Imagine an unstoppable tidal wave sweeping across the cosmos. Think of it like stretching a rubber band. At first it stretches easily, accommodating the force applied to it. But as you pull it tighter and tighter, it reaches a point where the tension becomes too much and snap! The rubber band breaks. The tension becomes unbearable. In the Big Rip scenario, the universe is our rubber band, and the force stretching it is dark energy. This dark energy is the mysterious force driving the expansion. Now, dark energy is a mysterious force. We don't fully understand it, but we know it's out there, influencing the cosmos in profound ways. We don't fully understand it, but we know it's out there, pushing everything in the universe away from everything else. It's like an invisible hand, constantly pushing. And if the Big Rip theory is correct, dark energy will eventually become so powerful that it will overpower the fundamental forces holding matter together. Forces like gravity and electromagnetism will be rendered powerless. Galaxies, those majestic islands of stars, would be the first to go. These vast collections of stars, planets and cosmic dust would be torn apart. The immense distances between galaxies would become too vast, even for gravity to hold them together. They would drift apart, unable to resist the relentless pull. They would be torn apart, scattered across the cosmos like dust in the wind. The once cohesive structures would be reduced to mere particles, but the destruction wouldn't stop there. The relentless force of dark energy would continue its rampage. As dark energy intensifies, it would start to rip apart smaller and smaller structures. No structure, no matter how small, would be safe. Stars, those giant balls of burning gas, would be torn limb from limb, their nuclear furnaces extinguished in the vast emptiness of space their light would fade forever. Planets, like our own Earth, would be next. The very ground beneath our feet would crumble. The very ground beneath our feet would disintegrate. The atoms themselves ripped apart by the relentless force of dark energy. The building blocks of matter would be torn asunder. Even the very fabric of space-time itself would be torn asunder, leaving behind... Well, we don't really know. It's a mystery what would remain. The laws of physics as we understand them break down at that point. Our current understanding would be rendered obsolete. It's a bleak picture, isn't it? The universe, once vibrant and full of life, reduced to nothingness. The universe, once teeming with stars and galaxies, reduced to a cosmic soup of subatomic particles, a shadow of its former self. But here's the thing about the Big Rip. It's not happening anytime soon. We have time, lots of it. If it happens at all, it's billions, maybe even trillions of years in the future. It's a distant possibility. So, while the Big Rip is a fascinating, albeit terrifying, possibility, it's not something we need to lose sleep over just yet. We can continue to explore and understand our universe. But it does serve as a stark reminder of the immense power of the universe and the forces at play within it. Forces that shape our very existence. Now, if the Big Rip is the universe being pulled apart, the Big Crunch is the opposite. Imagine the universe not as an ever-expanding canvas, but as a ball thrown into the air. What goes up must come down, right? Just as a ball reaches its peak and then falls back to the ground, the universe, in this scenario, would reach a maximum size and then begin to contract. In the Big Crunch scenario, the universe reaches a point where its expansion slows down, stops, and then reverses. Gravity, the force that holds us to the Earth and binds galaxies together, takes center stage in this cosmic drama. It's like the universe is taking a deep breath, pausing, and then exhaling in reverse. 
As the universe contracts, the gravitational pull between all matter intensifies. Galaxies, once drifting apart, begin to race towards each other like long-lost lovers. The distances that once separated them shrink rapidly, pulling them into a cosmic dance of reunion. But this reunion is far from romantic. As galaxies collide, the night sky, once a tapestry of starlight, becomes a chaotic mess of merging galaxies, their spiral arms twisted and distorted by the intense gravitational forces. The collisions create a spectacular, albeit violent, display of cosmic fireworks. Stars, once safely ensconced in their galactic homes, are flung about like pinballs in a cosmic arcade. The gravitational forces at play are so immense that they disrupt the stable orbits of stars, sending them careening through space. Collisions between stars become commonplace, releasing unimaginable amounts of energy. These stellar collisions generate bursts of light and radiation, adding to the already chaotic environment. But the real drama unfolds as the universe continues to shrink. Temperatures soar as the cosmic soup thickens, becoming a searing inferno of radiation. The heat becomes so intense that it starts to break down the very fabric of matter. Planets are vaporized, their atoms stripped bare in the intense heat. The once stable and serene celestial bodies are reduced to their most basic components. Eventually everything, all the matter and energy in the universe, compresses into an infinitesimally small point, a singularity. This singularity is a point of infinite density and gravity, where the known laws of physics cease to apply. This singularity is the ultimate cosmic reset button, wiping the slate clean. It's as if the universe is being rebooted, ready to start anew. Now, the big crunch might sound like a definitive end, but some theories suggest it could also be a new beginning. It's a fascinating concept that challenges our understanding of time and existence. Some physicists believe that the singularity of the big crunch could lead to another Big Bang, creating a new universe from the ashes of the old. This cyclical process could mean that the universe is in a constant state of rebirth. It's a cyclical view of cosmology, with the universe endlessly expanding and contracting like a cosmic heartbeat. This eternal cycle suggests that the universe is both finite and infinite, constantly renewing itself. But here's the catch recent observations suggest that the expansion of the universe isn't slowing down, it's accelerating. This discovery has thrown a wrench in the Big Crunch theory, challenging our previous assumptions. This throws a bit of a wrench in the Big Crunch theory. If the universe is expanding at an ever-increasing rate, gravity might not be strong enough to pull it all back together. The forces driving this acceleration are still a mystery, adding another layer of complexity to our understanding of the cosmos. So, while the Big Crunch is a compelling idea, it seems less likely than it once did. The accelerating expansion suggests that the universe might continue to grow indefinitely. But hey, the universe is full of surprises, right? Just when we think we have it all figured out, it throws us a curveball, reminding us of the vast and mysterious nature of the cosmos. Now let's talk about a cosmic apocalypse that's a little less crash and burn and a little more quietly unraveling at the seams. It's a scenario that doesn't involve fiery explosions or dramatic collisions, but rather a slow, almost imperceptible disintegration of the very fabric of reality. I'm talking about vacuum decay, a theory that's as fascinating as it is unsettling. It's a concept that has intrigued scientists and sparked countless debates in the world of theoretical physics. To understand vacuum decay, we need to talk about quantum fields. These are the fundamental entities that underpin our understanding of the universe at the smallest scales. Don't worry, it's not as complicated as it sounds. Think of quantum fields as the invisible threads that weave the tapestry of the cosmos. Imagine quantum fields as invisible grids that permeate all of space. These grids are everywhere, filling the void with their unseen presence. These grids determine the properties of fundamental particles, like electrons and quarks. They dictate how these particles behave and interact with one another. Now here's where things get interesting. Quantum fields aren't static, they can fluctuate and change in ways that are both fascinating and potentially dangerous. Quantum fields can exist in different energy states, like a light switch that can be either on or off. But unlike a simple switch, these states can have profound implications for the universe. The universe we live in, with its stars and galaxies and planets, exists in a particular energy state. This state is what allows the cosmos to be stable and hospitable to life. But what if there's a lower energy state, a state that is more stable than the one our universe currently occupies? What if our universe is like a ball perched precariously on a hill, just waiting for a nudge to send it tumbling down? This nudge could trigger a transition to a lower energy state. That nudge, my friends, could come in the form of a quantum fluctuation. 
These are tiny, random changes in energy that occur constantly at the quantum level. These fluctuations are tiny, random changes in energy that happen all the time at the quantum level. They are the result of the inherent uncertainty in the quantum world. Most of the time, they're harmless. They come and go without any noticeable effect on the larger universe. But every once in a while, a quantum fluctuation could create a tiny bubble of true vacuum, a region of space in the lowest possible energy state. This bubble represents a different, more stable configuration of the quantum fields. And here's the kicker. This bubble wouldn't just sit there. It would start to expand, driven by the difference in energy between the true vacuum and the surrounding space. It would expand at the speed of light, obliterating everything in its path. The expansion would be relentless and unstoppable. Stars, galaxies, planets, even the very fabric of space-time, everything would be consumed by the expanding bubble of doom. The universe as we know it would cease to exist. Now here's the good news, sort of. We don't know for sure if vacuum decay is even possible. It's a theoretical concept that hasn't been observed or proven. It's based on some pretty complex and speculative physics. The equations and theories that predict vacuum decay are still a subject of intense study and debate. And even if it is possible, the chances of a vacuum decay event happening in our observable universe are astronomically small. The odds are so low that it's not something we need to worry about in our daily lives. And even if it is possible, the chances of a vacuum decay event happening in our observable universe are astronomically small. The universe is vast, and the conditions required for such an event are incredibly rare. But here's the bad news. If a vacuum decay bubble were to appear, we wouldn't see it coming. It would be a sudden and catastrophic event. It would expand at the speed of light, so there would be no warning, no time to prepare. The transition would be instantaneous and absolute. One moment we'd be going about our lives, and the next, poof, we'd be gone, along with everything else in the universe. The change would be so rapid that we wouldn't even have time to comprehend what was happening. We'd be gone, along with everything else in the universe. The entire cosmos would be transformed in an instant. So, while vacuum decay is a long shot, it's a sobering reminder that the universe can be a strange and unpredictable place. It's a testament to the mysteries that still lie hidden in the fabric of reality, waiting to be discovered. We've journeyed to the end of the universe and back, exploring three mind-blowing ways it could all end. The Big Rip, where dark energy tears everything apart. The Big Crunch, where gravity pulls everything back together. And Vacuum Decay, where a bubble of true vacuum obliterates everything in its path. Each of these scenarios offers a unique and awe-inspiring perspective on the vastness and power of the cosmos. Which of these do you think is the most likely way the universe will end? It's a question that continues to fascinate and challenge scientists. While we don't have a definitive answer yet, the quest to understand our universe's ultimate fate is a journey of discovery in itself. If you enjoyed this cosmic adventure, be sure to like this video, share it with your fellow space enthusiasts, and subscribe to our channel for more mind-expanding explorations of the universe.